What's up, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to show you how to create a really highly targeted list without using Sales Navigator, just using the free, just general uh, LinkedIn search fields. I do still recommend Sales Navigator if you uh, if it's in your budget, because I think it's like $120 a month now. Uh, it's worth it if you're really active on LinkedIn, but if you're on a budget, uh, I, what I'm about to show you is a really, really awesome way, and it's pretty simple. Uh, a pretty simple way of creating a really highly targeted list that you can prospect to and then uh, take that list and put it into DuckSoup or WeConnect. That's the software that uh, um, the LinkedIn automation software that I use and I recommend. I'll have a link down below. You can learn more about it. But um, you can take that list and start doing your, your direct outreach campaigns. But you want to make sure, you know, anytime we're doing direct outreach, we want to make sure that our audience is, you know, it's a list of our actual uh, ideal prospects. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So make sure you stick to the end. Uh, if you do any type of LinkedIn uh, marketing, this is gonna be a really good video for you. So uh, my only ask as usual, guys, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. It does help. And make sure you subscribe, check out all the links in the description. Always have uh, good additional training for you guys there. Let's rock and roll. So uh, what we need to do is, uh, so in the search field, we're gonna search uh, this, the industry that you're going after. And a, a good example of this that I like to give for my clients uh, in my agency, uh, we work a lot. We do a lot of marketing and stuff for the business loan industry. And one of the industries that my clients like to go after is uh, their construction business owners. So business owners in whatever type of construction uh, or whatever type of construction business it is. So we're going to type in construction here. Now, <clears throat> typically what people do with their uh, when they're creating a list on LinkedIn is they use titles, which in some industries you can get away with just using titles and, and get a highly targeted list. So like mortgage brokers real estate agents, uh, real estate investors. Those are some good examples where it's very common for people in that industry to have that actual title. But when you think about if we're in this example, if we're going after business owners in the construction industry, they don't typically have construction business owner as the title. So that won't really work for us in this case. So how do we make sure that we're getting in front of decision makers, business owners in this specific industry? And that's where we're going to combine two of the filters right here. So the first thing we're going to do is click on people. Okay, so we're at 11.7 uh, million results. We're going to click all filters. Now, uh, obviously, the first things we're going to do is click second and third connections. All right, and then we'll start with the United States. Now, I recommend if because with this when it, when it comes to LinkedIn direct outreach, I like to focus more on the quality of my list, not the size of it. I, I'm not trying to get hundreds of thousands of people. We're not trying to get a very large audience like we would maybe, you know, doing Facebook ads or something like that. So uh, you can start with the United States if you're able to do that. Obviously, if you work locally, then, you know, search your city. But you can also go statewide to kind of start to bring down the size of the list and get it more high quality. Because if, if you go in your local area or your state, that's a that's all automatically a, a commonality that you have with that person. Right. So choose your location. You can choose your industry as well. If your industry, if the industry you're going after is not on this list, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and check it for now. And then uh, but the the main things that we're using right here, guys, title and company. These two filters combined doing what I'm about to show you is really, really powerful. Uh, just a phenomenal way to create a highly targeted list. So in this particular example, again, construction business owners, they don't have that in their, in their title. Typically what they're going to have is owner. So these common uh, decision maker titles, right? Owner, uh, we put o, um, capital O, capital R. So or, but it's gotta be capital. And we're starting to create, I think it's called Boolean search here. But uh, it, both letters have to be capital, otherwise it won't work. So owner or founder or CEO or president, right? So we're typing in these decision maker titles. And then what we want to do, and this comes down to knowing your industry, which it's not that complicated. It's not a difficult thing to do. But in the company field, what you want to do is type in common keywords that are in the company names of the industry you're going after. Okay, so let me show you an example here. So we're gonna type in construction because with it's kind of the opposite of what I was talking about with the title. They don't typically have construction business owner in their title. Uh, however, in their company name, that is very common in the construction industry, industry to have construction in their business name. So what we're doing here is we're getting in front of people who are owners, founders, presidents, or CEOs 
of a company that has the keyword construction in it. Guys, phenomenal way to get in front of the exact industry that you want right here. So let's click show results and see what happens. And what we want to do is start to scroll through this list here. And uh, so you can see we're at 156,000 results so far. And let's, let's see what we have here. Uh, real estate uh, development group, Newcastle homes, that's construction, uh, Hillside general construction, 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 president, owner, right? We're checking the titles and then the companies that they are the owner, founder, president of, right? To make sure that we're on the right track here. The other thing we wanna do is we wanna keep our eye out for additional keywords that we can add to the filter if we, if we find something. So um, like in, in that first example, uh, they, she was in uh, real estate and development. So what I could do if that was my target audience is I can go back to all filters and I can add that in the company name here. I can type in or development. Right. Uh, for me, those two kind of like I, I wouldn't actually do that. They kind of they're, they're contrasting a little bit, but uh, contracting that could be one as well. So uh, now, uh, as you can see, I mean, we're, we're definitely on the right track here. But um, the other thing that we want to do is actually go down the list to see because we, we want consistent results like you're you're going to get your you know really good results in like the first 10 pages or so. But we want to see what does that list look like, you know, on page 15, 20, you know, uh, is it, st are they still owners and business owners, decision makers in the industry that we're going after? So we're on uh, page eight here, president, CEO, development and construction group, Ferris Construction, president owner at Christel Construction. So we're still on the right track here. So, you know, you want to go down the list of pages here just to make sure that you're on the right track. Now, one thing I want to say about this, guys, is even though like we're going down this list here and we can see that we're this, this is a highly targeted list for this particular industry. Right. But don't get discouraged if you get responses or people that, hey, I'm not in the industry anymore, I'm not interested or whatever. Like that's just part of marketing. I find that, so, you know, not I don't want to say a lot of people, but uh, I, I'm kind of guilty of this as well, where we get discouraged a little bit. If, you know, we get multiple people saying oh, I'm not in the industry anymore and, you know, my list must suck. You do want to take a look at your list. If that is happening very frequently, you might want to narrow it down a little bit more, but don't get discouraged if, you know, you get a few people that aren't in that business anymore, right? So just keep that in mind. So this looks like a really good list. And uh, what you would do at this point is take this list, you know, assuming this is a list that you want to use. Um, and actually, before we do that, I, I would actually uh, want to narrow these search results. This is way too much. That's 160,000. So uh, let's go back to all filters. I would take out development here and then uh, instead of United States, we can do Florida where I'm at. All right. <clears throat> and that way uh, I'm getting a smaller list. See, we're at 11,000. That's still a lot of people to do direct outreach guys. And I should mention this too. I, sh I should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, we connect uh, actually allows us to get around the, the weekly invite limit. Um, you do not want to go crazy with it, but uh, that's that's another reason why I really like WeConnect is uh, they're always coming up with updates that really help to uh, improve our LinkedIn uh, our LinkedIn results. But uh, eleven thousand is much better. This is going to keep you busy for a long time. So I would take this list, copy it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Duck Soup works very similarly. So and uh, we go over to WeConnect, go to let's see where's my folder, and then save list. And then we would paste this in. It'll slowly bring the list into WeConnect. And then we can just do a simple uh, direct outreach campaign where we're sending out uh, automatically sending connection requests. So we'll, we'll select second plus connections. I'll paste in that URL, search, give it you know, 20, 30 seconds. Uh, it'll start bringing in that list. You save it and then you run your campaign. So. Uh, anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we don't really need much more than that. We don't uh, we don't need to overcomplicate anything. Just a couple of search fields combined correctly, really, really powerful. So play around with this and see what you can come up with. Combine a couple of different titles and you know uh, do some research on the industry.